Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. So we are on the second, I think we're the third island after Crab Island. Oh. Okay, another treasure. What were horses doing on this island? Question. This looks like an X. Okay. Alright, let's do some exploring. Oh, right off the bat. A language we don't understand. Ahoy there, lad. Hi, you wouldn't happen to be Patches McGraw, would you? I, the one and only. Quartermaster of the Breath of the Monkey. Who's asking? Oh, a ship. I, you should speak to Captain Morgana about that. Captain Morgana, where would I find them? Open your eyes, lad. She sat right here at this table. We're just playing cards when you showed up. Uh, Captain Morgana, Raymond, and myself. Not a whole lot to do on Felmy to pass the time. What's that? Captain wants to know why you're asking about her ship. Um, I'm on a quest to find my missing family. My last ship sunk off Crab Island. I... Captain reckons her sailing days are behind her. She says she might part with the breath of the monkey for the right price, though. What are you offering? I have exactly 35. Laugh. Oh? Captain doesn't find that funny. However... You a gambling sort, Percival? What are you proposing? A little bet. Beat Captain in a game of cards, and the Breath of the Monkey is yours. And if I lose? Well, that's one fine-looking hound you have there. <gasps> no. Would make a welcome addition to our little party. You want me to gamble, Drayton? Aye. Uh, is there anything else I can gamble? Nope, it's the dog or nothing. Uh, we'll come back. I think we're gonna have to. But let's do some more exploring. Thank you, buddy. Pair of glasses. Is that her boat? Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a pirate. Well, what's wrong with that? Got a hook. This? Wow, this is a tiny island.
Well, let's walk Drayton around and see if we can find any more treasure, but this... Wow, this is it. We've already got three. Anything else, buddy? All right, I guess that's all we can do, besides that weird language on the tomb there. All right. That's the spirit. How do we play? Oh, it's simple enough. We take turns flipping cards. For each pair you get, you'll receive a point plus an extra turn. Whoever has the most pairs at the end of the game wins. Oh, okay. So it's a match game. Chest parrot. Chest parrot. Oh, okay. Oh, red parrot. Uh. Oh! No! And then this one, I bet. No! It's this one. Ugh. Oh, blue parrots. What? Oh, the skull parrot. Making the AI a little dumb here. Ooh. Gold teeth. Gold teeth. Parrot. Parrot. Ooh, okay, we got it. job. The breath of the monkey is yours. Huh? Captain says she won't hand over the rights unless you agree to take me on as part of the crew. Do I have a choice? No, not really. I guess that settles it. Welcome aboard, crewmate. Hey, we got our first crew. Let's head down the pier and I'll give you the tour. <laughs> He's just glad to be off the island, to be honest, it looks like. Although he has the boat. He could have been off the island. Thank goodness for that. I thought he was never going to leave. Raymond. Raymond? Humor in this game is cute. Not much of a... Oh, that's the ship! Nice. Ain't she a beaut? Yes. The beauteous beaut in the beautiful seas. I. Let's take her out. Well, there's a bit of a problem. Two of you count the lack of available crew. What problem? She has no sail, tore right off one violent night. She won't be moving until we can secure another. Any idea where we can find one? Barnabas over in the tavern on Crab- We're back to Crab Island! We might still have the old one from when his ship wrecked. 
Your best bet might be to speak to old Jake Grubb. He's got the... For all things crabby. I've already met Jake. I'm not surprised. Go ask him about a sale then. You can use my dinghy here to get back over. I couldn't help but notice that you lost your other ride. Thanks, Patches. I captain. He called me captain. All right, we got more to do on Crab Island then. I can get back to Lonely Palm if I wanted. Awesome. Yes, the that's what I want. The mapping gear. So we're basically doing a part two. Sorry about your curse. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, this one's a little harder. No. Yes. Bam. <laughs> Journal's local map. Cool. This thing here. Yeah, there was something on Crab Island that looked like that. Anyway, let's head over to Crab. Oh yeah, Felmy is tiny. Smaller than this one. Alright. So let's start with... Oh. So we can add X's and stuff. Treasure. Cool. Alright, I need to line up this. Shift and scroll. These two. Then... Here we go, over here. Hey. Okay. So that would put X right... Here. Will that X actually translate? Oh, well, you're new. This is new. Nautical niceties, new items in stock. <gasps> Can we get rope now? I mean, what you've got? Climbing rope. 20. Purchase. We need it. Alright. Head to that X. It's in here somewhere. Yeah. Right here? No. Oh. 
I thought for sure that was the answer. Okay, then I... I don't know. I'm certain that... Or I was certain that was the answer. Okay. Well, let's erase those lines for now. Buddy, are you stuck? You pup. Oh, stuck on a tree. Here we go. Place isn't open yet. Okay, we do need to talk to Jake, but. Right now, I've got rope. So we're gonna try some of this over here. X. Heaps of specs, so we're getting closer. Got it. A giant gold nugget. Great. I bet someone on this island would be interested in this. I'll just hold on to it now instead of converting it into booty. Oh, nice. Ooh, in the cave we go. Ooh, we need a torch. Yeah, we need something to start lighting stuff. Where's the dog? Oh, okay, so we got pile number two here. We'll need three total for bombs. Need to figure out a torch situation. All right, come on, bud. All 
trespassers will be stabbed. Okay, nothing here. We still have those torches in the underground area too to light. So we need something that starts fire. This thing. I wonder if we'll get something later that does like rubbings or something. We also have Bella's tree as well. Buddy, stop getting stuck on stuff. I'm gonna try up this other hill and see if there's other rope places down. Did I get up here again? Oh, this way. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah, this thing. I think we're good here. Wait, was that there before? Must have been. Anyway. I sailed to Felmy Island and got myself a ship. Fantastic news, lads. You'll be sailing after your dear mom in no time. Actually, there is a bit of a problem with the sail. I don't have one. Right, well, that's a tough one, isn't it? Let me think. I suppose... Yes. I heard it said that when Barnabas and his crew washed up on Crab Island, they had a hold full of pirate treasure. Listening? Then I'll tell you the famous treasure of the four crabmen. Though one of them was a crab woman. Tis said after they wrecked, Barnabas and his crew piled all their ill-gotten treasures up on their ship's sail and dragged it away. No one knows where exactly. I don't think any of the crew have an exact idea anymore either. They drew up a map and split it into four, one for each crewmate. Heck, old Barnabas there is proud, or dumb enough, to keep his in full view down at the bar of his. Who were the other three crewmates? You'll find them scattered around the place. Last I heard, they don't speak to one another. Sid is up on the mountain, tinkering away with his mining gear. I bet one is the lady at the lighthouse. Not a bad sort to speak to if you're into that type of thing. Cecil, in the farm. He's the sole supplier of greens on the island. Meant to provide meat as well, but I don't think he has the butcher's heart in him. Cynthia went rogue. Spends a lot of time at the lighthouse. What's so special about the lighthouse? Have you not seen the wrecks littering Crab Island? That's Cynthia's doing. She sabotaged the lighthouse and picks the wrecks clean. Old Mayor Fillmore is in fits over it, but no one's been brave enough to do anything about it. Could be. He'd be able to help you with that thorny one. Oh, so we talked to the mayor. 
The treasure of the four crabs. Right, grab that map. Get that map, look at the treasure of the four crabs, and grab that fabulous booty. Aren't you forgetting the sail? Grab all that booty and the sail. Thanks, Jake. Sure. Cool. That sounds like fun. I'm gonna go talk to farmer, the farmer guy first. Would help if we go in the right direction. Is this the mayor? What are you doing? The daily announcements. Someone's got to do it. Fillmore Sunk Barn's the name. I'm the current mayor of Crab Island. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Percival Bilkins, my friends call me Percy. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to Crab Island. Employment opportunities. Cynthia's problem. I've heard that you've been having problems with the lighthouse. Oh, did you now? And where would you hear a thing like that? Jake told me. Anyway, what's it to you? I want to help. Well, I have something you could do. But it's kind of sensitive. I can be sensitive. What's the job? Ever since I came to Crab Island, there's been an issue with the lighthouse. You see, the problem is Cynthia. He's purposefully sabotaged the, the tower so that ships crash against the shores, picking over the remains once the foam settles. Sounds entrepreneurial. Well, it's also damaging the island. Supplies aren't getting in, and there's rumors that the English are starting to wonder why so many ships are lost out here. Last thing we want are the Redcoats coming onto the island and taking our liberty. I've commissioned Cecil to repair the lighthouse, but while Cynthia remains holed up in that tower, we can't fix the blasted thing. That explains why Cecil has the lighthouse piece. Uh, we're a pretty free bunch on, the Cra on Crab Island. The rest of the population don't give a whip for the lighthouse and aren't prepared to help stop Cynthia. She's a mean basket, after all. But if you can find something on her that they won't stand for, I might be able to convince the town to band together and arrest her. So gather evidence on her nefarious deeds and you can bring them to you. Got it. I've already bumped into Cynthia. Then you know what you're getting into. Be careful. Oh, well that sounds easier said than done. Yeah, this is the lighthouse piece. That's right, we have to go through the house. Hello again. Can you tell me about the treasure of the four crabsmen? Where'd you hear about that? A good treasure hunter never betrays his source. Eh, fair enough. It's true. Dragged it off and hid it away nice and safe. So safe, in fact, I can't recall where. And I have your piece of the map. Hmm. Honestly, it'd be a relief to be rid of it. I feel that blasted thing has me locked to Crab Island. Still. What? Who's to say you're worthy of inheriting my piece? You'll have to prove your worth. Prove worth. What do I need to do? Only what any treasure hunter would do to prove themselves. A few seasons ago, I buried three casks of Barnabas's... Coconut brew in three different climates as an experiment to see how they would ferment. Only problem is, you forgot where they buried it. Oh no, I remember. I just haven't had the time to go get them and collect them. Can't take my eyes off Trilly, Zelda, and Snowflake. Oh! The sheep! Anyway, go collect my casks and I'll swap them for the map piece. Roger, where are they? Oh no, treasure hunter. You'll need my maps to work that out here. Excellent. <laughs> Between two big rocks. Oh, I know that one. Four palm trees. Okay. Great. I think we can handle that.
think it's going to be on this side. Oop, I'm walking through the swamp. Sorry, buddy. And I lost my dog. Hmm, that. <sighs> One, two, nope. Where is my dog? Way back there. I'm thinking the trees are up here. One, two... One, two, three... Would that count as the fourth tree? Probably not. I don't think they're close enough together. We'll keep looking. Hey, it's open! He's got his map piece. Okay, one of these guys, I think, has the monkey toy that I have. Respectable establishment. No dogs allowed. <gasps> oh, sorry, buddy. That's better. What can I get you, kid? Let's talk to everybody here. What? Mr. Potato, sir! I think this belongs to you. Mr. Schmackos. I found them at the bottom of a cliff. Bad cliff, me fall. We friends now, you have this. Thanks, Tater. Big cheers, big ears. It's a map. Three trees, three rocks. Okay. Why do we have our... Oh, there we go. Okay, it was just a little bug. Can't talk to you. And talk to you. Are you from the supplier? Whisper yes. Good, but first answer this. A flat-footed fish speaks vol speaks in volumes. Starry-eyed walrus laughs at the drunkards. Beat it. Oh. Okay. What well, can I get you, small fry? About your cat? Yes, please. Don't you think your cat would like a little puppy playmate? Nope. Okay. One grog, please. Bartender, get me a drink. You got ID? Uh, no. I'm only joking. That'll be one piece of eight. Sure. My mouth is numb. Yeah, the grog will do that to you. Ship sail? I've taken command of the breath of the monkey, however, doesn't have a sail. Jake Grubbs thinks you might have a spare one lying around. Oh, does he now? I, I've got one. Pulled it off me wreck when we crashed here. Can't give it to you away. I can't give it away, mind you. What do you want for it? It's not for sale, kid. I've got my super secret treasure stash sitting on top of it, and I ain't moving it. Well, if you tell me where the treasure is, I could go and move it for you. I don't mind, really. Ah, you must think I'm stupid. No, that sail stays with me, treasure stash. So how do we... I need that sail. Gotta get my hands on the map behind the bar. Alright, we'll talk to him some more in a minute, but we gotta see if we can pet the cat. Hey there, little fella. That was a terrible mew. Oh. 
<laughs> Pet that kitty cat. Hey, what do you know? Basil likes you. You're all right, kid. Nice. Was it dying you wanted today? Yeah, don't go behind the bar. All right. So we need that. All right, let's talk to him about the bar. Back again. What is this place? Tell me about your bar. The capsized crab. I used to be a fearsome pirate, the scourge of the treasure islands. Then one night a terrible storm washed me and my crew up here on this island. At the time there was nary but the abandoned lighthouse in ruins. We settled in for a while and got to subsisting, living under the shelter of this here tub. As time passed we found the place to our liking. I learned to brew me grog from the coconut palms. It gives it nice nutty taste. While me crew settled down in different parts of the island to help tame her. About the map? What's with the frame torn map? Tis a reminder of me and me crew's spoils. After washing ashore, we needed a place to hide our ill-gotten gains. After stashing our hoard, we drew a map and split it in four ways. I suppose it's foolish of me to have it on display behind the bar, but I like to look at it sometimes and reminisce. Can I have it? No. Barnabas and his crew. What happened to the rest of your crew? They're all on the island as far as I'm aware. Cecil got sick of his crab and coconut diet and took up the plow. He and a, has a farm due southeasterly. Yeah, we've been there. Set up the mountains. Yep. Cynthia. Well. We had a fa falling out and don't speak to each other. Last I heard, she set up camp at the lighthouse. Yeah, we knew that. Sandy floor. What? No. I've got me valuables. Hang on now. You mind your own business. Oh, do you have stuff in the floor, huh? Crab? Why name the bar after a crab? She'd be a majestic creature, the crab. Oh, I missed what that said. Well, that and blasty co blasted coconuts. I guess I thought to name me tavern after one of them, and I didn't like the soundings of the capsized coconut. Too feminine for my liking. Um, big fellow to the left there is Big Tater. Nice guy if he's not ripping your arms off. Last by the door is Anne McGuff. I wouldn't try anything with her. She'd cut your throat just look just as well to look at you. The quiet guy on the right is Rojo. He doesn't say much, but he pays in coin and I don't start trouble, so I leaves him be. Nice place. You trying to be funny? Uh, no. No digging? Okay, that's a no. This table- I just realized this table's been flipped. Oh, I can talk to- What do you want? Name's Percy, so what? Okay. Can I ask you something? Make it quick. Angry bartender. What's the deal with the bartender? Barnabas? It's more of a cat person. About that knife. Nice knife. Nice dog. Thanks. How much would you sell him for? I wouldn't. How about a grog? Can I buy you a drink? Not likely. Who are you? Everyone calls me Bloody Mary. Because you like vodka and tomato? No. Anyway, I came to Crab Island because of this stupid treasure map. If there's treasure on this island, though, this map isn't going to show it. What a waste of time. Can I have that map? Ah! You think you're some type of treasure hunter or something? Sure am. Huh. I doubt it. Plus, it's no good to me. Plus, I like your dog, so why not? It's yours for five piece of eight. Sure. Yes, we got a map. Another map. It's not the one. Oh, we have a lot here. Oh, 
I can't make heads or tails of what this is. There's an arrow down here, an arrow here, and an arrow up. No idea what these crossbars are, but there's the X. Okay. I'm sure it's solvable, we just don't know how yet. Now let's see if we can find those four trees. One, two, nope. All right, I'm going to test these trees on the other side. So I think it's the second one we start with. The flows pieces. Barnabas's map. Find a way to get him outside long enough to grab it. Maybe I can convince one of the patrons to distract him for me. Okay. I need to answer his riddle before he'll speak to me. I have a feeling that the answer that lies elsewhere on this island. Okay, so we have to find the answer to that riddle. Okay. Four trees, so four across. On number two, four, and then six down. Let's see if this is the right tree. Ugh, I'm thinking not. Because we're getting stuck on stuff. Alright. Guess let's keep walking the beach. One, two... There's technically four trees here. This is a, like kind of a split double though. Oh, it kept counting continuously because I didn't let go of the button. I doubt this is right. Yeah. I don't think there's any shoreline over here. No, but we start up here. One, two, three, four. There's no way, because we can't actually get that far there. This is the last trees on the island. Huh. Let's grab this one. I know where this one is in here. We don't get stuck on stuff. Okay.
Bigger on top, smaller on the bottom. It's upside down. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to have to assume that it's not necessarily right side up. Why do I keep thinking it's this, this though? The bottom doesn't match. Oh, right here. Is this close enough? Top bit, lower bit. Oh, these don't line up quite the same. Well, let's try it. I'm thinking this isn't right, though. No. Oh, I found something. We found it. Okay. I was not expecting that. I was taking a wild guess here. Based on the shapes. Like this shape here and this shape here. Didn't look like these lines matched up. Oh, although if I flip it... No, that doesn't look any better. Okay. Well, I guess that was it for some reason. So this, this is a different biome, he said. Was oh, this the swamp? In between the two big rocks. Oh, let's try that. I wonder if there's two big rocks in the middle of the big middle of the swamp. Come on, puppy. Come on. Got it, buddy. All right, there are rocks here, so that's promising. Big rock there. And a big rock there. Oh, okay. This is right between them, I think. <laughs> nice. Cask of Grog. It smells boggy. All right, now we gotta figure out those four palm trees. That worked out better than I thought. Great, so we have this one left. Crab. Maybe this is the... Now I'm thinking it is those trees by the, uh... The capsized crab, especially because now look at this. There is a crab here. And there are literally... There are four trees here. Oh, maybe this is the first tree. It does have crab on it. Oh! 
Tree one, tree two. Maybe this is tree two. The Hobbit's cheap. Got it. Awesome. Don't tell it where me and a goose. Smells prickly. We got one. Ah, we're going to have one map piece. Here we go. I have all three casks. Really? Great. Which one should I try? Swamp. Oh yeah. That's a sweet tasting nectar, all right. The ruins? Ugh. Tastes like my mom's socks. Pines. Ugh. I've got the giggles getting my throat grope. Just give me the map. What map? You said you'd give me the piece of the map to the treasure of the four crabsmen. Are you sure? It doesn't sound like something I'd say. Dude, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> I'm only toying with you. Here, take it. What's with the numbers on this map? <gasps> You'll need to refer to them if you want to solve this piece. Really? Unless you have the right mapping tools, you're gonna struggle to solve it. I just happen to already have some mapping tools. You do? In that case, you shouldn't have any problem solving this. Open chest on LPI. 25 yards, 2.5 yards at 45 degrees. 45 degrees at what angle? This is 90, so it would be a half. And chest on LPI. Do we need all four pieces to, to actually know what we're supposed to do? Right, I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. The next one, we'll get the rest of the map pieces and, uh, yeah, hopefully get our, our big sale. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.